Keenan, thanks for joining us on iFollow Ipswich. First uh, week of training at town, how's it been? Yeah, it's been very enjoyable. Um, I really like the group. The group's a lot of fun. Um, I feel like we've got a good blend here, some really good good players here. So it's been enjoyable getting back to the English game, yeah. even though it's back in the English weather. But um, no, nah, it's been fun. Um, it's been good, it's been hard work. And um, just ready for the next game, first game at uh, Portman Road. And you mentioned your relationship with the group already. What's it been like with the coaches? Yeah, the coaches have been very good feeding me a lot of information. I think with our shape work and everything, it's, it's, it's important to know what kind of way they want to play each individual match is obviously um, tactically different and the staff have been very helpful with everything and been very friendly and supportive, so I can't complain. How nice was it to get some minutes up at Blackpool? Yeah, it was nice. It was good to come on, um, get my first taste of it. Um, I think it's important for me to just kick on as soon as possible and um, take every challenge on. I think in that game it was reasonably comfortable and after they scored they put on a bit of pressure so it's good to experience that, to um, be part of the unit and basically see our way through the game. I was just going to ask you about that because the because the job was sort of done in the first half, such an yeah. impressive display. It meant that in the second half, you were required defensively as well. How was that? Yeah, I mean, it, you kind of get stuck sometimes if you play that well in the first half. Yeah. Um, they're always going to come out second half firing. So uh, we had to be ready for that, especially the subs yeah. coming on. You, can't, you need to be seamless, um, taking your place in the game. So it was kind of just trying to make sure you don't, ruin the good effort of the, yeah. the boys and kind of um, get into the flow of it fast, be good defensively and then see if you can spring on the counter. Playing the 4-3-3 of course and it looked like there was a slight switch up to maybe a 4-2-3-1 but that suits you to a T doesn't it? Yeah I mean to be fair I'm just ready to play and see where I can come on and make a difference either side so I'd, I'm happy to play wherever and then we'll see. I think you also drew in two, three, four fouls. They, they didn't take long to welcome you to, to League One, did they? Yeah, I mean, um, I guess as a winger who likes, who's comfortable on the ball and yeah. likes to take players on, that's part of the job description. I've got yeah. enough cuts and bruises from that. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty much used to that. What did you feel about the mood in the dressing room after the game? Because the place was obviously and understandably bouncing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think we've just started the season so well. Um, and like I said, it's, it's come from a good group, it's come from a good core and the energy is right from everything I've seen so far. So it's been really positive and I think we just need to carry on. And when you have that kind of mood after the game, even before the game, you, you set yourself up in, a good, in good shape to then continue and bounce on forward. How did you feel getting minutes on Monday for the under-23s at Colchester? Yeah, I think it was, it was important to get 45 yeah. to get to start now building up because obviously with a with a disjointed pre-season yeah. and then a move things lurking around and then only really starting training on Thursday I think it's important to get that 45 um, regardless where and just try to get back into the flow of it and then having a good week of football yeah to then spring on again and see what happens on the weekend. Do you feel like you're getting pretty close in terms of full match fitness? Yeah, I mean, you can only play in what, what you've been in. So, yeah. um, like I said, that's why it was important to have 45 minutes of, of a game situation in your legs. Um, I guess time will only tell if I'm ready for the full 90. But, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for whenever I'm called upon and then we'll see what happens. Obviously, moving on to, to Accrington tomorrow, You'll be buzzing to make your debut at Portman Road, potentially, albeit without the fans. Yeah, no, it will still be nice. It'll be a nice occasion. The stadium's great. I've already been to watch um, the Gillingham game. So um, the surface is great. And despite not having the fans, which would be a shame, I think it's important for us to just keep pushing on, keep winning games, yeah. so that when they do come back, they're in a, in a happy position yeah. and then we can really all celebrate together. Is it important as well, in your opinion, that you maintain home advantage, you make Portman Road a fortress, despite there being no fans? I think it's important that we 
feel at home on every pitch that we go on. Um, I think without the fans, it does make change that aspect slightly. But I think it's important that when we know that we're travelling to our ground, that we keep it yeah. our ground and we play how we know we can play. They're coming down to us and we need to make sure that we perform to the best of our abilities. Yeah.